Wow, just wow. I can't believe how much bigger the pond is, how much it grew overnight, just from that little spring trickling in. And I've also got some viewer gifts to show you, some really nice gifts. If you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of the pond, take a look at yesterday's vlog, and then take a look at this. Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here at the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, and we will be playing at Dickie's Barbecue this evening in Rolla, Missouri from around 6 to around 8.30, so come if you can if you're in the area. I know you'll have fun. Regarding the pond, here's a video that I took this morning, and I'm very surprised how much bigger it is with just that little tiny trickle of water going in. <laughs> I'm going to have to get busy real fast in order to, to contain the pond before it flows over the banks. Well, we're back at the pond again this morning, and you can see it has grown a lot. It's really from this point right here, which is the furthest point, to about where the ranger setting is uh, 50 yards, and uh, that's 150 feet which is about 10 feet more than the length of my house. <laughs> so there you go. It's a, it's a pretty big pond. It really is. It's not, it's not bad at all. 50 yards is, you know, nothing to sneeze at. It's probably 30, 25 yards the other way, something like that, going across the width. And it's got potential to be quite a bit bigger yet. So... It's uh, pretty decent, but you can see it's really swelled up just in one day, and that's just from that little trickling spring filling it up. So there's, we've had no rain at all. I just thought you'd get a kick out of seeing how much it grew just in one day. So I've got to get the pipe in here pretty quick, or I'm going to have a disaster. And unfortunately, my bobcat is still on the fritz. Hope you enjoyed that little look at the pond. As I mentioned, it's about 50 yards across, which is about half the length of an American football field. So it's a pretty good sized pond on the width of it. And I would say across it, it's about half that, about 25 yards. That's just a guess. I didn't actually measure that. I'm sure the fish are going to be happy this year. The ducks and all those other things too. In terms of viewer gifts, John Went was here last week. He stayed four nights and he left on Friday morning when I was doing the shop talk. He's the one that gave me this wonderful new knife, this American-made Hogue knife that has the automatic blade, which I am absolutely so happy to have because it is it is the handiest thing. I've already used that feature several times, believe it or not, just because I've always got something in my hands when I need a knife. So that's cool. But he also, that wasn't enough. He also gave me this wonderful flashlight. This is one of these, uh, you know, high strength flashlights. I don't want to shine it at the camera, but you can kind of tell just by the, that it's one of those powerful flashlights. It's really, really nice. And it's just the perfect size. It's nice and small and compact. Uh, has one of those large batteries. And the coolest thing about it is that you can charge it right here with a USB charger, which I absolutely love that feature. So I can just leave it next to my computer. And that's another thing. I'm always needing a flashlight around the computer or just here in the shop because, as most of you already know, I'm completely night blind. I mean, when I say completely night blind, you really I don't think have a scale to understand that. It's as if you were in a cave, you know, when they turn out all the lights and you cannot see anything, even your hand in front of your eyes, that's how I am at night, even in our house. We have to have night lights everywhere or I cannot find my way around. You would think, well, surely you know your house. Well, you know, I, I don't know how blind people do it, but I can't. I lose my sense of direction and I run into stuff. The other night, I, my wife had somehow taken out the nightlights and I walk into this wall and I'm feeling this wall and I can't tell where I'm at. And I mean, I, mean, I hate to tell on myself like that, but it's that, that's how night blind I am. So that's why things like this are super appreciated. So thank you, John, one more time for that. 
Now, here's a really, really, really nice viewer gift and another very, very nice letter. This is from Scott McGuire. Scott was here from Virginia and uh, I worked on what on his uh, 028 guitar and uh, it's a 1919 vintage Martin 028. It's a sweet guitar. I'm not sure if we did a short video on that. I kind of think we did and assuming we did, you'll see that before long. You'd be surprised. I just can't keep up with all that stuff. I don't think we got the video out on that yet. But anyway, uh, he he just goes on and on about, you know, how friendly everybody was. Uh, Emery helping him find the directions to get here and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, a thousand miles he came and he, he was very, very happy with uh, the results. He, you know, I was able to look at his uh, instrument and tell what the problems were instantly. And they weren't huge problems, so I just fixed them on the spot. Uh, it only took me about an hour to get everything up in tip-top shape for him. And uh, he was so thankful of that, and he, he was expecting to have to leave the instrument and that it was going to cost a lot more. And so he sent me a very large, nice tip. In fact, the nicest, largest tip I ever received. And Scott, I can't thank you enough. It's so very nice to uh, get your letter, especially. And of course, the tip is always helpful here on the farm where we have so many expenses. So thank you so very, very much, Scott. I don't have uh, any updates on instruments yet as I didn't really work on any. I got a little more information on my Bobcat. I called Bobcat and told him what the problems were. This was after I changed back to the old oil filter to see if that cleared up the problem. And at first I thought it did because the, the messages went away. But after, you know, after it warmed up and got going a while, those messages came back. So I called Bobcat and told them what the messages were, and they suspect that it's some sort of an electrical problem. Now that makes sense because, you know, I did power wash it, and those power washers are pretty powerful, and they could easily either disconnect a wire or create some kind of a problem with a wire. So I, that's my next thing, is I'm going to hunt that down and see if I can find anything, and I hope that's what the problem is, and I hope I can get it fixed so I can get back to the pond back there and get the uh, pipe in and also build the dam up just a little bit more because I'd like to let it get another foot deeper at least and then have the pipe start draining out. I also wanted to insert what I did yesterday for a little while was I made these, I made four of these for my daughter. And these are uh, little escutcheons, I guess you'd say, to go around the old keyholes on old furniture. And so I made like four of those with my laser cutter. I didn't film the actual making or anything. I just mocked it up at Inkscape and then cut it out on my laser cutter. Kind of helps keep my laser cutter skills up to date because <laughs> you lose that pretty quick at my age if you don't if you don't do something every once in a while. So that was for my daughter Rochelle. She's also building a new house out there in uh, Ohio uh, near the Dayton area, and uh, here's a picture of her new house too. Well, hope you enjoyed that picture of her house. So, I got my work cut out for me. I better get at it. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow.